going on guys? So I'm going to be installing some uh, cabinet handles and I picked up this uh, by Amazon out of pocket King and Charles it's a uh, King and Charles basically cabinet handle installer kit uh, it's, or it's a hardware jig I'm sorry there's a part number right there So I normally use these templates that I got from Liberty. I've had these for years now. Um, and they, these have worked great too, but I was on the market to see what's all out there. And it's basically like this. And you can kind of set a ruler on there and match it up to your, uh, especially the edge or whatever, and then you can set your jigs to however far you need it, and then tighten them up. And then, I guess the same way here as well, so. Yeah, it's something new. I've never used this before, honestly. And as I was buying the hardware kit online, uh, the handles, I saw this, so I was like, well, we got different style cabinet doors and drawers. And I wanted to, maybe like that. I'll have to read this okay so as you can see it's going to be set up just like this right here you've got the crossbar up top and that way essentially it's always supposed to be centered but the one thing I like about these one piece designs is that um, obviously you can just, you know, on, on the, the regular cabinet doors, as long as you get this lined up, which is probably, what I'll probably use is this, I can just match up to whatever size I need. But as far as for the drawers, I think this, will, this is where it'll be most beneficial. So that way you don't have to measure across the drawer where the center is. Once you lock your jig in place, you can just drill your holes and be done so i'll definitely uh get some feedback on this we'll do a couple of examples see how it goes uh that way if you're in the market for one y'all can check this one out or something similar to it um so it comes with those pieces it does come with the center punch as well too so it is spring-loaded, and it's got a nice knob on it on the end of it, so that way you can push with your hand. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, so just kind of reading the instructions some more, and there's a view of the box. So on a cabinet drawer, this is how you kind of have it set up. This will sit on the top of the cabinet um, face. And then this will be set on the side. You can kind of measure it and get the center. And then obviously you can set it on the zero here, lock it into place, and then adjust accordingly how you want it. Um, now this, this portion here, you'll probably take off. If you're just doing center wise, and then you'll add this piece in. On this side and slide it over and do this with one hand okay and then as you adjust it you'll slide them over to the handle size and I'll get a handle here in a bit um, and then once you kind of get everything lined up the way you want it and how it's centered and everything 
you'll mark your two holes with this where you'll drill at and this the center punch fits perfectly into here so that way you don't have off center holes okay and then obviously if you were just doing one hole you can put this jig on there that way it locks in corner and you just put the one uh, single drawer handle or doorknob doorknob or whatever you want to call it but we're doing handles which has two holes so we'll we'll mark it this way and then we can obviously put this on the end and that'll lock it into place too so that way with the template wise we always know exactly where it's going to be at uh, on both sides all right guys so instead of trying to figure out the measurements between the two posts on the handles what you can do is since these are set up for the screws just run your screws through there and that way and i would suggest tightening it up too This way, as you can see, it should be pretty much even on both sides. And then you can tighten up these set screws down here, and that'll set that template up, and then <clears throat> it'll be set every time you kind of go through there. Sorry, my allergies are bad. But anyway, so. Set up just like that, it should be good. All right, so now setting up the top bracket here, that way you can sit on top of the, uh, the drawer face. Make sure you set the window on this side and not this side, because if you sit on this side, you're gonna be sitting there trying to figure out where the height is. So if you sit on this side, you can see if, I, if my drawer face is six inches and I wanna I want these holes to be halfway at three. Uh, it should be lined here on the inch side. You can see where the top will be. And I'll set it at three and then I'll lock it into place. Thank you. 